All right, greetings. This is Robert Forsh, and I wanted to cover some topics in a way that hopefully my video doesn't get taken down. I've been heavily censored and shadow banned, and the truth, I believe, is the most censored topic there is. If you think there's another one, let me know. It's actually the the truth about everything that I've found out about so far. You may find my content, or the content that I've found and compiled, rather interesting. So my name and phone number are unique to me. Uh, there's only one of that phone number that I'm aware of. The number one is for the country code, the United States. And uh, on my name, if you hashtag my name in, in different search engines, you'll find different results. And I wanted to cover how to research reality, research everything, question everything. When somebody says something, is it actually true? Or is it, um, are they promoting a deception unaware? Are they passing on false information unaware? That that's the case. So, like Mark Twain said, it's easier to fool people than convince them they've been fooled. Well, I believe that's true. We've got a bit of sky writing going on here today. And modified weather, of course. Uh, but what am I going to... I want to speak in a way that is um, hopefully going to be helpful. For you to consider what's going on here. So we're presented for, in the most part, a false reality. So it's much like the matrix. The false narrative is being reinforced by all forms of communications systems from uh, radio, TV, uh, schools, education systems, or they're actually more like indoctrination systems. That's how that actually works out. So the false narrative is being reinforced by all means possible. Let me uh, flip, this, finished work up. flip this around here. I will make statements that you can consider if you care to, or you may want to just scroll on by. Uh, a lot of people will give lip service to loving the truth, and yet, why are they so deceived if, if they actually love the truth? So, in all of this, that's one of the indicators of whether somebody... Well, I've got cotton candy here today. Not enough oil on there. Anyway, uh, the way it works out, apparently, is that people largely believe what they want to believe kind of works that way. So how do we get our appetites? Why do we like one thing over another? Where do we get our preferences? And apparently now with the uh, high-powered technology that is linking in the dealing with the biodigital convergence, the merging of man and machine, the cybernetic collective of humanity linked up with quantum supercomputers, it makes it rather complicated. I've got a lot more movement on my phone than I would like. Anyway, I'm going to just keep on rolling with it for a bit here. Let me flip this around. This is North Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and that was down at the Cherry Grove area, the point. So there are clues all around. When I mention that I add something to my research library, it may be a video, it may be a PDF file, it may be a short video linking up to other videos. So it can be um, a trail of, of truth and deception and how will you be able to recognize which is which. So I don't claim to know the truth about everything. It's a developing story. As things unfold, we're, we're given heroes and villains and who's who. 
how, how will you know which is which? So as best I can, I rely on God to reveal the, the God that's highlighted in the, in the Bible, the, the Almighty. I believe Jesus Christ is uh, the Almighty in human flesh. And I also believe in the doctrine of election, meaning that the Almighty determines who His children are and when we will be born and when we will be born again or born of the Spirit. That's all really important. And then there's, there's plenty of verses that elaborate on this more. Uh, one of them is in John chapter 1. They were born of the Spirit, not the decision of man. So I'm wanting to help people consider the most important truth, the most important reality to know about. And along with that, I would also like you to be connected with the Almighty in a way that He can help, help navigate through the challenges. So the number one reason most of my videos are taken down would be because of medical missing so-called medical misinformation uh, that's actually somewhat of a badge of honor because in the last several years it's become more many people have become more aware that the uh, system of control controls the narrative meaning what what is uh, considered to be factual or true and the truth is largely the most, um, how would I say, the most challenging to determine because we've got powerful information systems that are pre presenting a false narrative as truth. So, all that being said, uh, you can give me a call anytime. Ooh, I picked a rough road. <laughs> I didn't have to do that, but it doesn't last that long. I'm going to try and avoid a few of these potholes here. They'll end up repaving it. They put a lot of the infrastructure under the pavement, and then they'll grind off the high spots and, and put brand new blacktop down in the off season, which we're in right now. So I've heard people say, do your own research. Well, yeah, I agree. And one of the challenges with doing your own research is how will you be able to do that when a, there's a system of control that is giving recommendations to deceive? It didn't always used to be that way. So I remember when I first started searching on the internet for how things work, I was presented a lot of really truthful information. And that's, that's all changed. Now, I still may be able to find helpful, truthful information also with the help of friends that have evaluated it, thought enough of it to... Um, to send that information to me. That's part of how this works out. I will, I will have friends that will recommend a video to me, and right now there's a series about propaganda on the Odyssey platform, and you can see it in the links of my uh, Silent Weapons for Quiet Wars landing video on my YouTube channel. There's over 700 and over 725 hyperlinks in the comment thread and that was one of the ways of working around people that don't want to go to Facebook and um, there's a lot of censorship with different dot coms they cannot even be shared on Facebook so I can put it in a comment thread I can't share anything to the X platform because I'm permanently banned from there. And before we had 
personal computers and I was a little boy I was very curious and my dad was very knowledgeable about a lot of mechanical uh, things and and uh, governmental things I lived in the the country as well and got a healthy distrust for governmental controls uh, I worked on dairy farms and that. My dad sold steel to the military industrial complex in Wisconsin and Upper Michigan. So he would um, be given uh, different specifications for a type of metal for, let's say, a tunnel boring machine. Yeah, Manitowoc Engineering or ships, Sturgeon Bay Shipbuilding. That's changed hands now. But there's a very specific requirement for the type of steel uh, to perform the function, whatever it is. So to extrapolate from that, we are fearfully and wonderfully made. Those of us that are uh, the Almighty's children, he also goes by other names, the living word, the living water, the way, the truth, the life, the Alpha and Omega. So all of that, I believe, is true. And there has been a lot of corruption of biblical translations, of seminaries that are prom promoting false theology, false cosmology, and I'm exposing all of that. We've, we've also been given um, a, a misdescribed uh, environment that we live in. We're told we live on a spinning, wobbling, gyrating, orbiting globe, a water sphere hurling through space, and none of that movement can be felt. It's never been proven. And you may think, well, that doesn't make any sense. And even if it's true, why would you want to drive people away by bringing up something so ridiculous as the flat earth? It's stationary and level. That's just the reality of it. So we've got texture above and below sea level. So this is a, a place that I come to quite often, um, more in the busy season. And there will be thousands of people out here in an evening. Right now it's pretty quiet, but I just I wanted to show that too. So what I've done is compiled a deep learning artificial intelligence research library and sent it to the power structure of the world. The world leaders, Bill Gates, the Clintons, the Clinton Foundation, the military, medical, financial, industrial complexes, all of them that I was able to through the X platform and TikTok and Instagram. But X or Twitter was the one that I was able to reach so many of the world leaders. This is the most driven to destination in North America, apparently the Grand Strand in South Carolina. And it's a beautiful place. People come from all over to enjoy this. So on a busy summer night, it, the streets will be filled with cars and lots of uh, pedestrians on the sidewalks and that. Hey there. Hi. Great, thanks. So this right here is uh, North Myrtle Beach. So some of the clues would be names that are used, like a name on an ingredient. It may cause health problems. It may cause relief from physical symptoms. So I've got a high concentration of truth in my deep learning AI research library. Now, a lot of the world leaders are aware of what they're doing. 
I just wanted you to be aware of it, whoever you are. And I've also reached out to those world leaders. They may want to have a, a change of heart. They may consider what they're up to and what their destiny is. Where will they spend forever and why? That's a big deal. What will it profit a man or woman? But the scripture goes, Jesus says, what will it profit a man if he gain the whole world and lose his soul? So Elon Musk, he knows who I am. I've been exposing all the different aspects of how his technologies are actually working to enslave and monitor people. And there are many techno. I would love to see him have a change of heart. I'd love to see him actually born of the Holy Spirit. I'd love to see that for everybody, just so you know. We have technologies that would allow us to clean and power the world with water, permanent magnet motors, uh, and Antiquitech that can access the zero point energy field to give us perpetual driving machines and to have houses with that are um, off grid, meaning we wouldn't have to necessarily be plugged into the, the power grid. We could just uh, heat and cool with energy harvested from the ether. The other thing, can you, can you imagine what it would be like if energy was clean, abundant, and free? Nikola Tesla wanted to bring free energy to humanity. What happened with that? You can see stories about it. I've got documentaries that cover that. So a lot of the developers of zero-point energy, free energy, have been killed. Their, uh, their technolo the technology that they either discovered or invented has been largely uh, put on, they've been black shelved, meaning they're not available for the general consumer. So you can see Troy Reed and the magnet motor car that he developed, that he built. A little 12 volt battery and a special large electric motor and controller that allowed it to be a perpetual driving machine. No big lithium battery needed and they don't need to be pumping lithium up into the air with fires, lithium battery fires. You can see a lot of that on my channel as well. Or in the water supply with mining. Lithium is uh, a, a, it's a, it's a substance that's used to make the world kind of gray to the people that are popping the lithium pills. I know because I was on them. I don't, I'm not on any drugs or alcohol anymore. And I was, I've been off of them for over uh, 10 years. Don't need Pharm pharmacology or sorcery, witchcraft, is also what the Bible talks about, uh, the drugs, that it's like witchcraft, sorcery. It's in the book of Revelation. I believe we're in living in Revelation 20. I believe that Jesus returned soon after his crucifixion. It's called the timeline deception. Some refer to it as preterism. I believe the destruction of the temple in 70 AD was uh, actually part of the, the tribulation. And then we have misdescribed uh, architecture and archaeology to hide the, the tribulation and the millennial reign of Christ. So we're in the little season, Satan's little season of Revelation 20, meaning we're in the end of the end days. We're in the end of the end of days. So you can take a look around in my research library. If you see a name you find interesting that's talking about a technology, you can look into that. I've got people that have been deplatformed and killed. The ultimate of being deplatformed is when they actually kill you. And I'm not afraid to die. I'm not afraid to live, die, or tell the truth. 
And because of that, um, I'm not afraid at all. So the, the reverence or the healthy fear that I have is of the Almighty. I, I want to do what he created me to do. So he will empower me and inspire me to do that. He'll provide everything that I need to get that done. I believe that's available for everybody that has a wholehearted desire to walk with Christ, to walk with God. <clears throat> so there's a spiritual smorgasbord out there that I'm very aware of. And because of that, I have uh, disclosed the different religions and and uh, there's a kingdom of cults. Walter Martin wrote a book about that. There are there's so much information that when I say I've deployed this, like a lot of times there will be a video I'll add to the to the library, and I'll say excellent analysis deployed worldwide through my deep learning AI research library. Thank you. And if it's a fresh out of the I'll be an early comment and I haven't watched a five hour video or a one hour video but I I want this information to be reviewed by people and I'm gonna finish reviewing it uh, quite often I'll put deployed worldwide through my deep learning AI research library you may like videos that are a few minutes long you might want to watch nurses twerking on TikTok. I don't know. I'm on TikTok too. This will probably be on TikTok. I'm not going to be doing any twerking. No need for that. So we are presented just an overwhelming amount of information that is designed to distract and deceive from what's really important. And there's a kaleidoscope of conspiracy theories to hide the actual conspirators and how they're accomplishing or trying to accomplish what they do, what they are wanting to do to call and control the the human herd and they operate outside of the law because they control those that in at the highest level they control those who control the enforcement and of the of the laws and all of that it's really complicated so what I wanted to do is to provide a healthy resource you could use my research library as a starting point if you want if you think I've missed something uh, you could give me a call you could send me a link uh, you could uh, you could put it in a comment that'd be just fine so with that being said, I rely on others to help. I'm, I'm inviting your, your encouragement, your support, and, and also information that you may be aware of that I'm not. And um, so that's part of how this works out. I'm not saying it in a disingenuous way. I'm sincerely wanting people to send me information if you care to. And it may be um, a video that's already up and out, and you don't have to put yourself in any kind of jeopardy just sending me the link. However, just know that all forms of communication virtually are being tracked, traced, databased, and threat assessed. Now, if the technology actually does exist, and I believe it does, where our input signals of what we see and what we hear and what we think can also be intercepted and track trace database all of that so it's not just the words that come out of our mouth it's the thoughts that we think and all of that so there's you can see in the brain initiative um, it's a documentary talking about it I keep my top 100 pretty pretty serious pretty serious information and there's also uh, beautiful relaxing nature videos as well uh, a lot of times what I'll do I still watch a lot of TV it's what I it's my programming it's the programming I'm choosing 
It might be a beautiful nature video, background, music, volcanoes. It may be uh, the earth from above video. It's like seven hours long. Apparently, just check, I believe that this is very likely true. The whole world's population apparently lives on about 1% of the habitable land. We don't have too many people using too much stuff. We've got control freak sociopaths that want to cull and control the human herd. It's a battle between good and evil. And a lot of the churches aren't going to talk about the weapons of war. Neither are the news media. You're going to find some of it on The Simpsons. You'll find some of it in the movies. So there was a movie that came out with Scarlett Johansson. And it was, uh, let me see. Well, it was Lucy was one of them. And that deals with the human potential of, of accessing our entire brain. I want more than that. I want access to what information is pertinent to right now in this, in this life. And the Almighty can do that. He can help me know when to go right or left. Do I, do I put this in my body in the way of food or water? This water is highly purified carbon filtered reverse osmosis water that I've had sitting in the sun. It energizes it. It structures it. It's all fact. It changes the density, which changes the volume. Do you know how much a gallon of water weighs? It's about eight pounds. However, the volume and density of water changes with temperature. So in the, in the jugs of water I keep outside in the car, if it's too cold, I'll put it in the sun inside. It'll expand enough when I put it in from 65 degrees to getting up over 100. There's over an ounce of water that will expand out of the jug. And then when it cools down, I can see the void that's there. Well, what that essentially means, or it's evidence of the mechanism of our hydrologic cycle, the warming and cooling of the earth, from the sun and the moon and uh, other sources of heat that are that are generated including wildfires and factory fires that can actually be generated by a failure of uh, technology or actually a failure of equipment that has artificial intelligence that may have caused a problem like the Stuxnet virus and the centrifuges in Iran. So there are so many pieces of this puzzle of the reality that we live in. I use the the movie The Matrix and the allegorical breakdowns and commentaries on that uh, and the Truman Show and the Terminator. Uh, we're getting a lot of truth in the movies, what's called predictive or preemptive programming. And then in the news, we're given an, an official unified mockingbird media. And then we've got what may be viewed by some as controlled opposition. You may not like some of the people in my library. I don't like a lot of what those some of these people are doing. Um, if they're going to be born of the Holy Spirit and they're working a deal with the devil right now where they're living for him because... He gives them what they want uh, to satisfy their flesh, their, their nature, their fallen nature. Well, they may have a, a come to meet and come to Jesus moment where they realize, wow, if this, if this whole Jesus thing is real, I'm in trouble. That's what happened to me some years ago. I came to believe that he was, that he was real and the Bible was true. And I, that was in 1982, and it wasn't until 2014, as best I can tell, on Reformation Day or Halloween, as others celebrate it with 
human sacrifice and candy distribution. So the reason I struggled so much with the flesh, my human nature, that's all I had. In that over 30 year time, I was a homeschooling dad working at a full-time ministry and selected to lead character development classes and small men's groups for uh, retreats and that. I wasn't a bench warmer. I actually helped build a, an $11 million facility, uh, Christ the Rock Community Church. Maybe some of you know about that. It, I didn't design it. I just helped uh, do some of the work that I had the capacity to do and and sheetrock and insulation and and helping with cleaning and and all of that. But the reason I mention that is that probably one of the most disturbing things through all of this that I found out is that I, I had believed I was born again until I actually was. So if that could happen to me, it could happen to others, especially those that are obviously uh, snake oil salesmen or women now. So I'm exposing that cavalcade of um, of of conspiracy with um, those that are pretending to be Christian and they're not. They may think they are. They may never be. They may not be born again. Probably not, and they may never be. So, am I judgmental? Am I judging? Well, we're supposed to evaluate. If somebody claims to be born of the Spirit, they should be living like it. If they're not, that's a problem. If they say they love the truth or they're born again and they're believing a lot of things that are obviously lies, well, there's a problem with that. Why is that? So substance abuse is a, is a big deal. How, how accurate can somebody's situational awareness be if they're impaired with drugs and or alcohol. And I'm not just saying like illegal drugs. Uh, a lot of the pharmaceutical drugs have effects that will hobble somebody's cognitive function and their physiology. And it's all by design. So I'm exposing all that with the help of Nobel Prize winners, uh, inventors that have exposed the military, medical, financial, informational, industrial complexes. So if you were to go to my channel, and um, or it's not just my channel, I, it's the Truth Network, that's one of the references I have for it. If you like a video in my library and you actually click the like, you've got to be logged in to do it. Uh, you could write them all down if you want but you could just click like and that liked video playlist is now yours. And I'm not just talking about Robert Forsch created videos. I'm talking about the all the documentaries and that that I found and compiled. Because if my channel is taken down and if they were to have a seek and eliminate every occurrence of a post that contains my name or phone number or likeness, they could virtually pun intended, wipe me out. And would that matter? Well, I've got some of the real serious information exposed there. So you might want to look into that. For example, on my Rumble, BitChute, and Odyssey. Let's see, which is another one? Uh, TikTok. I've created playlists. You can look at them. And uh, Instagram. You can click around and see what people are up to. So like recently, I direct messaged Elon Musk through the appeal process at uh, Twitter, now X. I do it almost every day. Send him current information he should know about. He wants to have a, a computer system with a, 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 a passion for truth. And he bans the truth guy permanently because I violated X rules. <laughs> oh well, knock yourself out, Elon. But you're paying attention, I'm, I would think. Either you and or your Grok computer or whatever else you got going on there. He's, 
He's a military industrial complex provider getting billions of dollars to help enslave humanity. Covering it, showing you. People get there. I don't have just one topic. I mentioned the flat earth or the stationary level earth a lot because there's a lot of people that really think they're smart and they're deceived on that. And then they're deceived on who they think are the good and bad guys and gals. They don't have a freaking clue. And then there are people that have a whole lot of truth and they might miss the most important truth. They might have that wrong. If I had it wrong, I would want to know. So that's why I say if you think I missed something or got something wrong, you can give me a call. Send me a link or put it in a comment. I don't get into lengthy chatting back and forth like texting or commenting for public view. I may just, uh, if somebody said the earth's not flat and you're, you're stupid, I might just put my whole research library right in a comment. Hashtag my name, phone number, and here's a playlist to get you going on that. I it may not even be a human being. It may be a, a chatbot or a whole team of chatbots that are working to uh, support the official lie, the official narrative. And since I'm exposing so many of them, they might have dedicated quite a bit of resources to uh, confuse this whole issue of the truth. And does the truth matter? It's not my truth and your truth and their truth. There's the truth about whatever you want to know about and then everything else. And there's a lot of everything else. More than I, I, I couldn't have even imagined where we are right now in a sea of, of deceptive information and distracting information. Alrighty, so I think that's pretty good for now. Um, so on any of the different, if you were to see the link tree that I have, I add to that regularly. What I manage regularly as well right now is my YouTube channel where I'll move videos around. As far as I know, on a handheld portable device, it's hard to get into more than 200 videos in a playlist in my playlist. I've got thousands of videos there, over 15,000 in my in my research library. It used to be over 100,000. What they did was they made all the playlists that I added to my library, they made them all private. They did that for everybody as far as I know. I've asked others, they said, yep, yeah, me too. So when I would see a channel that had real excellent content to consider, I would just add their playlist to my library. They said, uh-uh, you're not doing that anymore, and what we're going to do is we're going to track who makes the playlists, where they share them. And one of the things, I, I know I've done this before in the video, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this out again. A lot of times people will be walking by, driving their cars, their bikes and all that, and they'll see this car and it's actionable information. When I wave to the Teslas, I'm waving to the quantum supercomputer that's operating full self-driving and it sees me. <laughs> yeah, and I'm telling on them, telling the truth about all of it. And that's one of the ways of doing it. Bible.com is God's word in all the major languages. Hope you like that. I listen to and meditate on scripture day and night. <laughs> hey, you ought to see what it's like on spring break. They're all over the place, but I've, I've watched a change in part of what's happened here too is, okay, this is 2024. Uh, it, we're, we're approaching the end of the year. And uh, hey, there's my friend Van and his wife. Hey, good to see y'all. I got you on my Facebook live stream right now. Oh, you're on the live stream. Hi there. There you go. This is my okay. friend Van. He's okay. one wheel in it. Yeah. Excellent. Saving the environment. Oh, absolutely. What a beautiful day, too, huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, how's it going? Good. Good, good. Yeah, we 
started up at Barefoot Landing, just been running and stopping and every once in a while, grabbing something to eat. Now, can you go about 20 miles with that? Yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah, I'm sure that. you've taken a couple of diggers, huh? Not yet. Really? Not today, knock on wood. Oh, hey, that's good, man. The beach is great for it right now. It's low tide. Oh, so they work pretty good out there uh, when the sand is hard, huh? So it's nice. It cuts down a lot of miles for you, you know? Oh, yeah. How long does it take to get to? I, do they have about a 12 mile an hour top speed? Oh, I can do 25 on this. 25? Mm -hmm. yeah. Dang, man. It'll roll. Here, let me put that bad boy. But <laughs> now, is, is that a one wheel? Is that the name of it? Yeah, one wheel. Yeah. I've got some of their videos in my library. Oh, yeah. They're we cool. Will, we will all, you need one. I, I would we'll like that. Now, are they, are they about um, 1,500 now? Yeah, you can get a used one for about 15. Otherwise, new, maybe 21? Two on up, yeah. Two up. Yeah, I've seen them with some really cool LED lights, oh, too. You can do all kind of crazy shit. People, you know, you can get your own grip tape. You could have, you could have truth in the grip tape. Oh yeah. Well, you know, I could I could have a custom tire with Truth embossed oh, on yeah. the tire and have Truth running down the down yeah. the beach. What are you doing? Hanging out? Yeah. Well, I'm doing a live stream now on uh, Facebook, and then I'm gonna upload it to different platforms. So thanks for being in it, man. Yeah. Good to see you. See you soon. We're going to Bowie's. All righty. Time to grab something to eat. Sounds good, man. Thanks for stopping by. See you, Robert. Take uh, care, buddy. Hey, you too. That's David. <laughs> All righty. How cool is that? So a husband and wife, one wheel in it. Hey, you do have lights on there. Yeah. That is awesome. Hey, hey great to see you. Thanks. So one of the other things that happens here too in the not just in the off season, it's also on season too. There's there's a, a bunch of locals here as well that I get to know and interact with, and um, and help and make a difference in their lives too. Now, what's kind of complicated? I want to go back to the controlled opposition people, so to speak. Some that would be viewed by others as that. I don't know that that's the case. They may they may get a wake up call. So I would like to see them changed. That's why I want to get the information that I can, the truth about everything to everyone I can, and it's going to be between them and the Almighty on how this all plays out. So I've got people that like a lot of Joe Rogan podcasts. I've got um, uh, just a, a tremendous amount of information and. I know I have friends that don't like some of the people that I feature. That's okay. I I don't. There's a lot of things going on that I'm not a, in favor of. There's atrocities going on that I can't really elaborate on this platform. And I know I could go on to a, a Rumble or Bit Shoot or Odyssey and speak a little bit more freely. But I want to reach as many people as I can. So. Um, even when they reject the, whoever they are, if they reject the truth that I'm exposing, I'm not responsible for that. It's out of my wheelhouse, my one wheelhouse. It's, it's not my responsibility what other people think, say, believe, or do with, the in, with what they think about me or believe about me. I don't have any opinions, I've got to say. I have beliefs that I... Uh, that I express quite a few of, and uh, those beliefs, of course, I believe to be true. And I'm exposing the deception as well. Everybody is going to need, and when I say everybody, I mean everybody. It's not a hyperbole. We're going to be faced with the reality of how we deal with this information. What is our ac is our situational awareness accurate? Or is it to our own liking? Are we seeking the truth or what we want to make us feel good, to make us happy? So it's kind of complicated, and yet the, the truth is still the truth. And I encourage everybody to seek the truth with all your heart because it matters for eternity. This is Robert Forsch. Feel free to reach out 
anytime you like. Thank you so much.